Welcome to Going for Gold, Healthy Habits. This week we talked about stress management and some strategies that we can use to help fuel our minds and bodies. Sleep is such an important part of having a healthy mind and body. The recommended average amount of sleep each night is 8 hours. When we get the right amount of sleep, our bodies and our minds feel recharged and ready to go. Here are some things you can do to help get a better sleep. Avoid caffeine before bed. This includes things like soda, coffee, or chocolate. Try to avoid technology right before bed. Instead of playing a game on your phone or watching TV, Try some yoga or reading. You can also try changing the lighting setting on your phone to avoid eye strain. Set a schedule. Going to sleep and waking up at the same time each day helps get in a routine so you're ready to take on each day. Mindfulness is something you can do anywhere to help relieve stress and feel calm. So what is mindfulness? Mindfulness is a process of bringing your attention to the present moment, without judging. We can practice mindfulness through different meditations or through thinking and breathing. Mindfulness may seem tricky at first, but it gets much easier with practice. Mindfulness has benefits on both our mind and body. When it comes to our physical health, mindfulness can help relieve pain, lower blood pressure, and improve sleep. For our mental health, mindfulness relieves stress, decreases frustration and aggression, and increases our attention and focus. Belly breathing, or diaphragmatic breathing, is how we breathe through a muscle called the diaphragm. When we take in a deep breath through our noses, the belly and chest expand with air. When we release, or exhale, our bellies deflate like a balloon. Sometimes taking a couple of deep breaths can do a lot to ease anxiety, stress, or pain. Mindful belly breathing is all about focusing your attention on the rise and fall of your belly as you breathe. A body scan is another way to practice mindfulness meditation. A body scan draws attention to different areas of your body while maintaining breathing and being present in the moment. There are ways that we can be mindful in everyday things we do. Here are some examples of things we can do each day to connect with our minds and bodies. Try to start and or end the day with three deep breaths, or try to take some time away from technology and do something relaxing. Finally, you could go on a mindful walk and take time to enjoy the breeze and the smells. There are so many more things you can do to be mindful every day. You just have to find what works for you. Yoga is another way we can fuel our minds and bodies. Yoga is a combination of movements that focuses on breathing and mind-body connection. Just like mindfulness, yoga has benefits on both our mind and body. When it comes to our physical health, yoga increases flexibility and strength, improves heart health, and energy and endurance. For our mental health, yoga is great for relieving stress and pain, as well as improving attention and concentration. You can check out our video on an intro to mindfulness and yoga for some tutorials on easy yoga poses. At the end of this video, you can find resources to other poses as well. Make sure you are wearing something comfortable and you have enough space around you to move. The food that we eat fuels our bodies and minds. While it's okay to eat unhealthier foods sometimes, we want to make sure we're fueling ourselves with healthy options as well. Some healthy snacks you might already have in your home are fruits, veggies, yogurts, granola, and more. Here's a recipe we used this week for a quick, easy, and healthy yogurt parfait. Healthy eating doesn't have to be hard. You don't even need to cook anything for this one. Here are some resources for caregivers and athletes. Visit PBS for Parents for a tutorial on belly breathing. Check out YouTube for guided breathing and body scan meditation videos, as well as mindfulness and yoga tutorials. 
Check out headspace.com or download the free app to learn more about mindfulness and practice on your own. You can visit yogajournal.com for some beginner poses with easy to follow instructions. And lastly, visit sleepfoundation.org for general information and tips on healthy sleep. Finally, tune in next week on Monday at 11 a.m. on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for a video on Wallet 101 to kick off our next topic of money management. And be sure to join us Wednesday at 11 a.m. on Zoom for a live session of The Price is Right. You can also check out our social media on Friday for a recap of the week. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week.